Hi everyone. Today we are going to di discuss the basics of wireless communication. So wireless communication. So the simplest definition is that with wireless communication we actually exchange information but without wires. So we have studied that we can have two computers, we can connect those two computers with the help of some wire or with the, with the appropriate cable and we can exchange the information or we can exchange the data. But in terms of wireless communication, we exchange that information without wires. And how is it possible? So that is possible with the help of radio frequency signal. So the exchange of information with radio frequency signal is uh, wireless communication. Now, as an example, we have this very well-known mobile uh, communication or the uh, cellular communications you can see here. So nowadays, this is the most common, in my point of view, just this is every, almost everybody has uh, their mobile like. So in this set, you can see we have a handset or we have a mobile and that mobile is going to use this wireless channel between itself and a tower. That tower is known as base station or the BTS. That BTS stands for base transceiver station. So in this way, this tower and mobile are going to exchange information using wireless medium. There are no wires in between them. Now, when we are going to study this wireless communication, it's, it's good to just give credit to, so there are so many persons who just work on that. But maybe, for example, we can say that this, this, is, this is the guy, so we, it's good to give credit to this guy. So this is Heinrich Hertz, he's a German scientist who was the first to prove the existence of electromagnetic waves. So before that, Maxwell worked on that and he gave a theory. And then on the basis of that, he, the Hertz actually proved that these electromagnetic waves can really exist and he actually proved with the help of experiment. And these are the waves which we are using nowadays in every kind of communications like mobile, we satellite, we have this like every kind of remote control, garage opener, so anyway. So this is the, this is the one who actually initiated, who proved that electromagnetic waves really exist. And the second example of wireless communication is a well-known example that is Wi-Fi. So, so whenever uh, we go, wherever, sorry, we go, we first maybe we try to ask them the password of the Wi-Fi so that we can we can use our 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 application. So Wi-Fi in the same case we have uh, uh, access point. So we have, we'll discuss this. So we have access point and we, we can use our handset, we can use our laptop and we can get connected with that access point using wireless medium and we can just use the internet services. We also have satellite communications so with the, so, uh, the dish antenna at the earth and the satellite somewhere in the orbit in the sky is going to be connected using say, these wireless medium. You see, in this case, this is not possible to just connect this dish antenna with a satellite with the help of a wire. So wireless is the technology which made this possible to send our signal from dish antenna to satellite. And in addition to that, we also have some other applications like we have GPS system, we have satellite television, satellite phone, wireless keyboard, cordless phone. So, and less list is there. I mean, to say there are so many applications which bear we use this wireless uh, channel or wireless uh, way to communicate or to, uh, to exchange of information. Now, the question is, who is going to create the, these uh, waves or electromagnetic waves which are going to carry our information? So the answer is, in these handset or in the node, for example, here in, in case of mobile, so in case of this mobile, a communication are in the, in the case of cellular communication, this mobile or this handset has an antenna built into it. So there is an antenna and that antenna actually converts the electric current to electromagnetic wave. So there is electric current and antenna is going to convert those electric current into some waves like this. And then these waves are, are received by the BTS or the tower 
and this way and in this way we are actually able to convey our information now what will be the pattern propagation pattern propagation pattern means for example if this is the tower sorry if this is the tower mobile tower then what area this tower will be able to cover or what will be the shape whether this will be this shape which we have drawn here or this will be a circular shape or this will be just directional shape so what will be the shape of this uh, tower so the this is known as propagation pattern and this actually depends on antenna's radiation pattern so this is some what we do normally we just make an antenna and we consider that the, the antenna will be radiating the electromagnetic waves in all directions so like this is an antenna if we say this is an antenna this will be radiating in all directions yes this is the case but now we have some specially designed antennas which can only radiate in some particular direction so we can say for example if this is the antenna we can we can design so we have the antenna which will only radiate in particular direction they will not radiate in other direction so these are it means we have uh, the directional antennas as well so the propagation pattern depends on the antenna's radiation pattern and yes like wired communication like ethernet that ethernet is a shared medium so multiple users can share the same cable exactly in the same way wireless is also a shared medium it means multiple users can use the wireless medium simultaneously or at the same time and the method for that is multiplexing so uh, we also use this in in we can also use this in wired as well but in wireless as well so multiplexing is a method where multiple users can share a common medium so we will discuss in detail in some of the videos what is multiplexing and how how to make it possible but as far as definition is concerned so multiplexing is a method where multiple users can share a single or can share a common medium 